everyone, welcome back to Red Bandit Racing. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the front, upper, and lower A-arm set from RPM. We got the Mini E Revo here, and the front arm did break. I don't know how it broke. We were at the BMX track in Sacramento, and we didn't realize it broke. This was actually hanging on just by a little bit there. And we had noticed that the tire was bent out. We moved the tire and it fell apart. So we're gonna replace that. We did do a video where we replaced the rear with the RPMs and they are much beefier and we haven't had one single problem with them. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. In an upcoming video, we're gonna have Red Leader show you how to replace one of the arms on the E-Revo e 2.0, along with one of the pivot balls. And as you can see here, we're gonna be swapping out some fluids on the sledge and the rustler and that'll also be in an upcoming video. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. The tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need the 2.0 millimeter hex. You're gonna need a tool to go ahead and take off those wheel nuts because as you guys know on the mini, uh, you have to have a pretty thin size socket to get those off. So we're gonna use this. I still haven't found the tool yet, but I am gonna be putting some, uh, the trenchers from the Bandit. I'm actually gonna be putting these on the mini EV bell. I think that's gonna give it a little bit more height and a little bit more traction. So we're gonna try that out. Also got some picks just in case we need it. So let's go jump in on this. This really shouldn't take that long. There's not too much you have to take off. All right, well, I hope you guys can see this. Uh, I normally do this outside on the table, but it's extremely windy today. It's been a little warm. So I'm gonna go and do this here inside. So sorry for the camera angle. I'll make sure that I get much of this in focus as I can. First thing, let's go and lift these tires right off. All right, let's get those tires off. Put our parts aside. I like to use these as a little stand right here. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we have to take these push rods off. And once we get the push rods off, uh, we'll go ahead and get the front bumper off. And we're gonna wanna take these one, two, three, four, five screws out. Remember these are the 2.0 to make some work. that way you know where stuff goes and you don't lose a, lose anything. So once we got that off, we're gonna go and pull that off just like that. Make sure everything's nice and clean, inspect it. Everything looks good. So we're just gonna put that aside to take off that bumper. I think it's those two screws right down in here. If you can see those right in here. those two screws and this top one right here that goes in the center and that's it the bumper should come off just like that now let's go ahead and get the push rods off the push rods are these right here we're only going to want to take off uh, the outer side right here pull those out that way these are freed up just pop them out just like that we're actually gonna leave these because we don't need to take them all the way off. If they, if you feel like they're in your way, take these, take this other 2.0 hex off and get these off the way. That way they're out of your way, but they really shouldn't be. Let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off uh, the bulkhead crossbar. And what this crossbar does is this helps hold this whole assembly together. It keeps these pins right here set so they don't come loose. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the center one off. I'll show you what it is. Take that one off just like that. Put that aside. And this bar is gonna come off just like that. Put that aside. And as you can see, you're gonna pull all four of these pins out. When you pull those pins out, it's gonna free these arms up so you can pull them out. But before we do that, let's go ahead and unscrew them from the hub. You go in there, inside, and you're gonna unscrew them. Uh, I go, I go evenly, go evenly out. Just like that. You wanna go evenly out because uh, you will find that they start getting jammed in there. If you're taking one all the way out and you're trying to get the other one, so you kinda have to uh, move their suspension up and down a little bit to make sure that they're straight as you take them out. What you can actually do is once you get to that point, let me move my parts to the side a little bit so I have a little room. 
you go. The easiest thing to do is keep your parts on the side that they came off, pull the axle out, just put it aside, put that one aside. That way you can work on the arms. Now what you want to do, get a pair of your pliers and pull out these pins. Just like that. The long ones will be on top, short ones will be on bottom. There you go. Falls right out. Put that aside. That's for the bottom ones. Bottom ones, there's another set of pins. These pins right here. Oops, you have to kind of tug them just a little, just a little bit. You may have to move the servo out of the way to get the pin out. Then the arms come right off. All right, now that we have the arms off, let's go and open up the package. The parts will be in the description, but if you guys are wondering, it is part number 80692. All right, so I'm just putting the parts down here right now just to kind of look at them. And yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I mean, it is a pretty big difference. If you're looking at these arms, this is the left side. Uh, that's a pretty big difference. I mean, they are definitely beefier. Look at the thickness on them. So these are definitely BB. I don't think these are gonna break. I think this is gonna last quite a long time and we won't have to do this again. All right, so I think the easiest thing to do is to start with the bottom. So I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna put this side on first. And the bottom ones are the ones where the lower uh, shock, uh, push rod goes on right there. Uh, this faces the front because that's what the push rod mounts on. So it's gonna go on just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our pin. Easiest thing to do is to put a pair of pliers. Uh, this, don't get frustrated with this part. These pins sometimes don't go in right away. Uh, I think the easiest thing I found to do is to put the pin in like this. Uh, I think I just remembered how to do it because I, I, I did help Red Leader out with the rear, but we're gonna put that in like that. And then I'll just grab my pick. To move around just a little bit and there you go push it right in let's go ahead and start that pin out just like that you guys see that line that up pick or screwdriver doesn't matter all you're really using it for is to push the pin in so once you got those in you're gonna go whip it around go to the front do the same thing. And you're done. Flip it back around. Now you got the bottom on. We're gonna go ahead and do the top. So just keep these arms out of the way. So when you put these back in, just in case you forgot how they came out, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see the slot right in there. It's about the thickness of this side. So you, you can't really put these in wrong. So it's gonna go in like this. You can't put the big side in on the other end. So you're not gonna get it wrong. You're gonna put it in just like that. Once you got that in, grab your pin. You might need a pair of needle nose to kind of move it around. And there you go, push it right in. I'm gonna grab the other side real quick. Same thing, get that push right out. Small end goes in the back. Grab your pen. Grab your pliers. Grab just the tip. You may have to work around just a little bit. There you go. You don't wanna grab uh, the center of the pen or the edges where the arm goes on because you don't want to create gouges in the pin because when this thing is going up and down, uh, it's actually scratching on the inside. And if you put a big enough gouge or a burr is what they call it in the metal, it'll, it'll start slowly wearing this arm down and it could create a weakness. So just remember, just grab the tip of it because the tip of this uh, rod right here is gonna go in into the housing that just holds it in place. 
So don't worry about messing that up. Uh, just don't grab uh, the middle parts of that pin. Grab your bulkhead crossbar. Oops. Don't throw your bulkhead crossbar. So grab, grab that. Just go ahead and put this on. What that's gonna do is once you have that on, go ahead and screw that in. That's gonna keep everything from falling out and falling apart. Usually when I disassemble, I use uh, my driver. But when I'm reassembling, it's always good practice to go ahead and use uh, your hand driver because you don't want to accidentally cross thread something or uh, destroy the threads or over tighten it. Uh, it's best to just, you know, good practice, do things by hand. It is speedy if you're gonna use a gun, but if you're not that good with it or, or used to it, do it by hand so you don't ruin anything. Last thing you want to do is is screw in these pivot balls and over tighten them and to damage the threads inside the arms because then that defeats the purpose of replacing them. You're gonna have to replace them again. But once we got that on, let's go and do this side first. You're gonna pull this arm aside right here, put it back in the axle. This one's a little bit dirty. There we go, got that in there. Once that's in, we're gonna go ahead and start screwing the pivot balls back into the arms. And just know when you're doing this, do it by hand, get it started, and then do the other side. Do it evenly. All right, I got it started. So now that it's started, I'm gonna keep the suspension straight like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in a couple turns. As you guys can see, <laughs> at the wrong angle, you can't get the thread. So it, you have to angle it a little bit to tighten them down. I don't know if you can see that, but as you're doing it, let me try and get at the camera. As you're doing it, as you can see them in there, as you move the suspension up and down, those pivot balls are making it hard to grab that hex. So that's what I'm saying by carefully move it around and do them evenly. You don't want to go all the way in. I go until there's about maybe two millimeters of space right here. So about, about right there, maybe a little bit more. You don't want to go all the way in. You do not want this plastic touching the hub. You do not want those touching because it'll bind. So you do want some gap in there. That's probably a good amount right there to where I can start with. All right, I got those on. That looks good. So let's go ahead and put the push rods on. Like that. I believe that's what those new screws were for. Kit does come with uh, 1.5 millimeter hexes, as you can see right there. This hole is considerably smaller than the standard one. So we're gonna go ahead and use the ones that they supplied. So let's go ahead and put this arm in here. And these are self-tapping, so when you put this in, you, you do have to push a little bit harder, put a little bit of force on it to get it started. Make sure that arm is straight as we're putting it in. Make sure you look as you're screwing it in right here that you're not missing this inner hole because it'll push this arm out and you don't want to do that. You might damage it. So as you're pushing this in, make sure it's threading the other side, which it is. So we're going to go keep going. There you go. Make sure it's snug, not too tight. And there you go. That side's on. So let me go and throw the other side on real quick. Now that those are done, I'm going to flip it back over. And I'm going to put this bottom brace back on. So everything is still nice and tight right there. So what we're going to do is on this one, as you can see, there's two slots here and two slots here. Those are where your pins are going to go. So you're going to want to make sure those are pressed down over the pins, just like on the rear. So get this in frame right there. Gonna go right there so you're just going to push down and that's it there's no sliding or anything like that it just pushes straight down once you get it straight down let's go ahead and put our screws back in if you guys are wondering there are five screws you're going to have four that have that uh, rounded head and then you're going to have one that has a tapered head the tapered head goes in the back goes in the back right here 
just like that. All right, now let's go and get the other ones in. I'm gonna actually now speed this up a little bit. So once those are in, snug, and I always uh, cross tighten them. Nice and snug, nice and snug, here we go, just like that, all right, now we're going to flip it back over, and we're going to put our front bumper back on, just going to go on just like that, there's these two slots right in there, and that's where, ooh, this one actually broke, look at that, you guys see that? This one's actually missing an ear where it slides in. So we're going to end up having to replace that. So, but for now, let's go ahead and just put this in. Just like that. The little one goes up top. Go ahead and start that one. And then you can put the other ones in. So, kind of had to angle it a little bit differently to get that to go in. We are going to have to replace our front bumper. So we'll have to do that next time. Now let's make sure we get that tight. Whoops, sorry about that. All right, that's in there. There you go, get that top one snug. And get the other two. So it is actually pretty important that we replace this front bumper because if it's missing that hook, it's not really grabbing and staying on. So before we really take this out again, we're gonna have to replace that bumper. But that is it. Pretty nice. So let's go and throw the wheels on and check the toe. So we're gonna make sure the wheels are straight. Balance it a couple times. I know you guys probably can't see it, but I'm gonna have to drag this bottom one in a little bit. So what you're gonna do is go in the bottom right there. A couple turns. Balance it again. That tire looks flat now. This one's the same way. This bottom one's gotta go in. Maybe actually take this top one out just a smidge. Just a smidge. And there you go. And what I'm talking about, let me try to move you guys, is right here. You wanna get this the wheels nice and straight like that. Jounce it, jounce it a couple times. And what you want is this, you want this tire as flat to the bottom as possible. So if it's tilted in a little bit, what you want to do is take this top pivot ball and then screw it a little bit. If it's tilted out, you're going to want to unscrew the bottom one and vice versa. If you're trying to put them in or turn them, turn them out, it really just depends on what they look like, but turn the wheel and make sure that after your adjustments, that the pivot ball is not flush with the arm. You do want some gap in there. You don't want them touching. So this actually looks really nice and everything is set up the way it is. So this thing's ready to go again. All we need to do is replace the front bumper and put some new tires on it. And this thing will be ready to rock and roll. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll put the parts in the description so you guys know which ones to buy. So now this thing does have front and rear RPM suspension arms. And those are probably the only upgrades we're going to do to this because there is not a lot of problems with this car. It handles great. It does take a beating. And I really don't see anything else I can upgrade, to be honest with you. Uh, this is a great little car. I mean, it's, it's real fun to drive. So... I hope uh, that helped a little bit for those of you that didn't know how to put them on. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment. Even on the rear, if there's something you didn't understand when we did the rear, I can redo it for you if you want to show you how it's done. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.